You can download MongoDB by going to their website, going over to the download section, and choosing to download whatever instance suits your system. I'm using Windows 8, so I would download the 64-bit. And just one thing, if you do run into any troubles with installation, you want to make sure that you have a bin folder created wherever MongoDB was installed. So for me, MongoDB was installed in my program files, then MongoDB, then server. So C drive, program files, MongoDB, server, 3.2 and there should be a bin folder created. This will hold the executables like Mongo that you need. Once you have that all set up, you'll want to open up a couple of command prompts. I usually have one open and then type start cmd.exe to open up another one. In order to get the local instance of MongoDB running, you want to use the command mongod. That's M-O-N-G-O-D. And you may need to navigate into the bin folder I showed you earlier. And then from there, you can type Mongod. And what this will do is it will give us access to our Mongo shell. So in order to use our shell or run any applications locally that are using MongoDB, we need to have Mongod running. Now, in another terminal, I'm able to use the term Mongo, that's M-O-N-G-O, to open up the MongoDB shell. And now I want to show you a few of the most common commands when using the shell. So the first one is ShowDBs. ShowDBs will give us a list of all the databases that have been created. So as you can see, I have a bunch of these. I can choose to use any one of these databases by using the use flag. And I can also create a new database by using this use flag and then naming it whatever I want. I've already created a database instance called test. So let's go ahead and use that one. So now it's saying switched over to DB test. So now I want to see what document collections I've created within this test database. System.indexes gets created automatically. All these others are collections that I've created either within the shell or by creating a schema. The schema, which we'll talk a lot about, is a representation of the collection and it will constitute key value pairs. A command that I can use to look into one of these collections is so the I can find say method. DB dot, then the name of the collection that I want to look at. We'll start with things.find. We can see that there is one document in this collection. This document has an underscore ID key whose value is set to an object ID. This field gets automatically generated every time a new document is created. And this document also includes one object with the name of Will. We use JSON to define the objects in our database, which then gets converted into something called BSON seen here. And the only difference between these two in code is that BSON has quotation marks surrounding both the key and value pairs of our objects. 